Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own resource pack. And in this video, which is going to be the first part of a short series, I'm going to show you the initial steps. Uh, and what that means is I want to show you how to first get all the files organized for your resource pack. I want to show you how to name your resource pack and add a custom icon. And in the next series of videos, I'll show you how to add textures and audio and how to animate textures. So let's get started. What I have here on my desktop, or on, in this folder rather, is this is going to be the main resource pack folder here. This is where we'll add all the files, textures, audio, etc. And then in these folders here, I have the um, textures and audio and whatnot that we're going to go ahead and add. So um, the first thing you want to do to create a resource pack is let's go ahead and open up our resource pack folder and in this folder we want to create a new text document and we want to call it pack.mcmeta and the .mcmeta will be the file type and we're going to go ahead and click yes to change it. If you're unable to, to create a um, a file this way with a file extension that means that you don't have file extension turned on if you'd like to turn file extension viewing on uh, just go ahead and click the link that I posted in this video if you don't feel like turning on file extension viewing there's also an alternative approach um, so what we'll do is then we'll create that text file again and um, we're not going to bother with naming it we're going to open it and save as pack dot mc meta and that'll do pretty much the same thing and we can go ahead and create or delete this one Oops. all right so now we can open up pack dot mc meta with any text editor really I prefer notepad plus plus but if you want um, you can even open it up with just notepad and once you have it open we want to go ahead and create or uh, just paste in the following code which I'm just copying and pasting directly from the wiki and I'll put in the description of this video that way you guys can copy and paste it in as well the only part we need to change right now is uh, the description so let's go ahead and add something in and another thing we can add in here is something called a unicode character which basically if I bring this over here I'll put a link to this in the description. This is Wikipedia's list of Unicode characters and their codes. So if we want to add in a Greek um, lambda, what we would do is in our description for our pack.mc meta file, we're going to go ahead and do forwards, or I'm sorry, backslash, and put in the code for lambda. So that would be, you would want to replace the uppercase u with a lowercase u, that's very important. And you also want to make sure you do not use the plus. And then you go ahead and add in 0, 3, 9, capital B. And that, when we load up Minecraft, will show us a lambda symbol after the description of our um, resource pack. So in this case, it's not going to make any sense, but if um, you go through these Unicode characters and you find some cool stuff that might kind of make your description look a little bit more interesting, then you might benefit from it. So we're done with that. Let's go ahead and close pack.mcmeta. The next thing we want to create is uh, a folder called assets. And in that folder, we want to create another folder called Minecraft and now that we have that whoops we have assets and we have pack.mc meta and the last thing we need to add in is an icon so I've created a 128 by 128 icon for this resource pack so I'll go ahead and copy it and paste it in here all you have to do is make sure it's named pack and the file type is a PNG and it'll be recognized. So at this point now we can go ahead and zip our resource pack. 
because Minecraft requires a zip file for a resource pack. So let's go ahead and right click and you can use WinRAR or Win or, um, 7-Zip if you want, if you have them. I'm just going to go ahead and do this the Windows way. So I'm going to go to Send to and Compressed Zipped Folder. And that's going to have the same name as our folder that we're using to create the resource pack. So that's fine. Um, now to actually edit the files within, I would highly, I'd highly recommend using WinRAR or 7-Zip or any of those other um, programs that are similar out there because it just makes it a lot easier. All you have to do is just double click on it and you can go ahead and start changing the files. So what we want to do is let's go ahead and copy over our resource pack information into there and we'll delete this resource pack folder so that all we have is assets with Minecraft with nothing in it and then the pack.mc meta and our pack.png icon. Uh, with all that in place, all we have to do now is add our texture pack to Minecraft and then check to make sure that it's recognized. So we're going to go to app data, roaming, and then dot Minecraft, and then resource packs. And let's put the one that we just created in there. So copy here. And then let's open up Minecraft. Let's see if this worked. And if it does, then we have basically a functional texture pack. We can start adding textures and audio and whatever we want um, from here. So let's go to options, resource packs, and there it is. There's our resource pack. We have our icon, our description with the lambda symbol, and we can add it in there, which will do nothing for now. But in the next video, I'll show you guys how to add in some new audio files to replace the music discs and the default sound effects for Minecraft. And in the following video after that, I'll start showing you guys how to add in textures and animate textures. Thank you for watching and take care guys.